Next up, at UFC Vegas 61, we have Alexi Olenek taking on Alir Latifi. This will be like the 11th time I've broken down this fight. They continued making it, and it continued to fall apart. The most recent time was at UFC 273. But now we uh, may actually see this fight happen. When Alexi Olenek is 60 and 16. He's 2 and 3 in his last five, coming off a win over Jared Vandera. And that broke a three fight skid. Alir Latifi is 15 and 8 overall, 2 and 3 in his last five, coming off a win over Tanner Bozer a year ago. Look, my okay. friend just texted me. I see. A that. Fr- look, long lines. How you been, my man? Congratulations. Why do you insist on running your dryer when you know we're filming? Like what? And it's like you're always drying shoes. I no, it's because the, you know, the plastic Here's the problem. cup is always ends up in the dryer. The tink, the tink, the tink, the tink. Here's the problem. Your apartment is there like might be a this. a cat in there. It's like this. I had thing. an aunt that literally accidentally dr- dried her cat. Uh, well, and it survived, but it was too not, small, not in good Jacob, shape. Jacob, for you to be doing laundry while what we're filming. What are you filming? talking about? I'm in the guest house. The, sorry, the laundry room. Sorry, sorry, the maids are doing the laundry. I mean, I'm trying to yeah. get them out of here before okay. ten. It's holy it's, shit. It's, it's it's a nightstand slash dryer. It's two inches from your bed. It's definitely not a stackable. I tell you that these are full sized. These are full sized. <laughs> yeah. yeah, for those long underwear. We've upgraded. Years. Anyway, Alexi Olenek. He's a ridiculous. He's a ridiculously experienced grappler. He's got a really high finish rate. 60 professional wins. I think it's like 60 submissions or something obscene like that. His chin is gone at his age. His cardio is not great. His wrestling definitely could use some work, but he can literally submit anybody from anywhere. And it's just very ugly to get it to the ground though. He's essentially a Paul Craig, but even older and not a P-U-S-S-Y. Paul Craig will pull guard. Alexi Olenek will come forward. We'll bomb. Try to make something So he's happen. basically Ryan Hall is what you're saying. He's essentially... And that's what I had when I was doing my live breakdown on Twitter. Follow me on Twitter. I do live breakdowns every Sunday. I, I called him Ryan Hall. I think, he, I think he has turned into Ryan Hall. By the way, the dryer just turned off. There you go. There God you is go. good. Yes, God is good. Uh, he is coming off that first win in two years, and it was a very typical Alexi Olenek fight. He was losing the striking exchanges, somehow ended up on the ground without a takedown of his own, and then won by submission. Elir Latifi... Is a wrestler. He was a 205 pounder. He has moved up to heavyweight, but this is his third fight at heavyweight. He throws big punches to set up his takedowns, and from there he tries to stay busy, but he can slow down later. His first fight at heavyweight was against Derek Lewis, and he was not knocked out. He went all five or all three rounds. He got a few takedowns. He held him down, lost the decision. He only landed five significant strikes in a three round decision where he had a bunch of takedowns. It's ridiculous. And it's easy to say that Alexi Olenek is 1-3 in, in his last four, but if you look at those three losses, he lost to Spivak, Dawkins, and Derek Lewis. Those are quality losses. All three of them would beat, and one of them already has beaten the Lear Latifi. The biggest problem here is that Olenek is 45, and we all know heavyweights can fight longer in their careers, especially grappling ones, but 45 is just, that's just, that's a rough number. The other issue here that makes it so hard to break down is Alir Latifi's a wrestler. He wants to wrestle. He wants to get it to the ground. That's exactly where Alexi Olenek wants to be. But if Alir Latifi is wise enough to say, hey, I probably shouldn't go to the ground with this guy, then there is literally 0% risk for Alir Latifi because Alexi Olenek is not going to be able to get this to the ground on his own. He's just not going to be able to. So if Alir's not shooting takedowns, he's not on the ground, and he will absolutely win the striking exchanges even though he's low volume. So I have to go with Alir Latifi here. It has been interesting breaking this fight down more than once because I have flipped. I went with the Olenek early for oh the takedown God. logic. I, this We're talking about five months ago for the takedown oh. logic. And then, you know, since then, I've, I've just gone all Alir Latifi. The odds reflect that as well. He becomes a bigger and bigger favorite oh, every yeah, I think, time I, I think I picked trumps. Olenek too. Yeah. And uh, Latifi just becomes a bigger and bigger favorite every time this fight it gets rebooked. So anyway, I like Latifi. What do you think, Jakey boy? Yeah, I mean, you pretty much said everything that needs to be said. Latifi, if you do not wrestle in this matchup, you will knock this dude out. Because Latifi actually does have some decent hands and some decent power in his hands. And the thing about Latifi's shots, too, is they're not like big looping shots. Because, I mean, he's a small guy with short little arms. And he just kind of pops these big power shots like he's in the pocket. 
And that's get the fuck out of here. He's not fucking tall. <laughs> he's tall. Um, he's not. He's not fucking tall. I, I see the top <laughs> okay. of that dude's head. I, okay. I see the reflection of the sun off the top of that dude's head when we're walking around. If he's walking in front okay. of me, I'm blind sure. on a sunny day. Why don't um, we lay on the ground? We'll do like a baby. We'll do the chalk at your head. The there's chalk not enough feet. room. We'll I mean, measure it. And this is the guest house. There is not enough room. You're right, because the dryer is seven inches away from you. This room is seven by seven. Sure. I'm sorry that the wife put me out here. You know what I mean? Caught yourself. Okay. Yeah. So anyway, I I don't know what I was saying about, oh, the short little shots. Yeah. So the the short little shots will be there because Alexia Linick, I mentioned earlier, is getting very Ryan Hall-like in the way that he's trying to get fights to the ground. Ryan Hall, all he wants to do is get the fights to the ground. He will fall down and just try to do anything he can to get the fight to the ground. My dude, Ryan Hall, he's going to come back and win the title in 2024, no doubt in my mind. But Alexi Olenek, 45 years old, everything is slow. He is slowing down. His head movement, <laughs> his strikes, his footwork, his takedowns. I mean, he just wants to kind of kind of uh, get his walk around, get close to you and grab you and just kind of hope you fall on top of him. And then if it goes to the ground, you're in trouble. Vendera tried to play that game. Vendera had his back and was like, everyone's like, don't get up, Vendera, because eventually he reversed position, got him in that scarf hold, and choked him out. Latifi, don't shoot a fucking takedown. Do not do it. Staying on the feet. The knockout shot will be there eventually. We've seen Alexa Olenek beat Chinny. He's 45 years old. He's slow. Knock him out. Get your check. Move on. That's my advice. My yeah, pick I think is, we're uh, all- Latifi. Sorry. And I'm pretty confident yeah, no. too. Yeah, I think we're aligned here. And you know what? Uh, monkey knife fight, it's tricky. I'm not going to touch it. 55, though, is so many for a Lear Latifi. This dude landed like five strikes against Derek Lewis. Tanner Bozer, it was another. This guy is landing less than 20 strikes in decisions. And I get it. The logic here is Aldo be standing. and what, 55 is a high line. For a Lear Latifi. And, um, you know, I do have a prize picks plays up. You guys will hear about them on um, Friday. But if you're a premium member, go check it because I imagine the prize picks line that I have on this fight is going to move. And I'm very, very confident in it. 7,500 to 8,700. I think a Lear Latifi is worth the 8,700. What do you think? No, I, I just want to say for the respect for Alexi Lane, because we did kind of trash him a little bit. The guy, this, the guy's fought seventy six times and only lost sixteen. That is, that is literally. Oh. Un, I mean, that is unreal, unreal. No, he's and it's and it's all. Isn't it all finishes? Does he have any decision wins? Five decision wins. Okay, fifty five stoppage wins. I know he's an incredible fighter with an incredible career that he can be very proud of. So, yeah, he's just he's just old. Literally, literally, the knock on him is he's old, and he can't help right. that. That's just life. Um, and he's aging better than he's forty five. How many thirty? And this is like I, I, I alluded yeah. it to her. If these guys are the if these guys are both thirty five years old, I'm picking Olenek all day, all yeah. day. Yep. Uh, you agree with me? Alia Latifi should be in your DraftKings. Uh, probably, but yeah, yeah. I don't. <laughs> I don't. <laughs> it's tough. It's tough picking. Uh, it's tough picking that dude with his short little arms and his. His stubby yeah, little body. Sure. Yeah, no, absolutely. I'm, I'm looking forward to the chalk outline with measurements of you. And then uh, I told Which you that one? monkey knife fight strike Which one do you want? I'll take all the measurements. I bet you all would. Of them. All of them. I bet you would. Uh, monkey knife fight strike line, I'll tell you right now, it's less on Latifi. And what's cool about monkey knife fight is they have other games. Some of the matchups aren't just between the two fighters, meaning. You can try to get three for three, five for five, six for six, and try to chase 25 times your money. You could get Alir Latifi on his own, not against Alexi Olenek. If you do, less than 55. Hit it, smash it, play it. That's almost a guarantee, in my opinion. WeOnPicks.com slash MKF. If you want 50 bucks for free, go to WeOnPicks.com slash bets. Sign up, make a deposit. They will send you $50 as a thank you.